In this unit, we're talking about classification of living things. And the study of taxonomy organizes living things into groups based on how they look, their genetic relationships, and their evolutionary history. Carolus Linnaeus invented binomial nomenclature, which uses the genus and the species name to give something what we call a scientific name. So an example of a scientific name is Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the name of the bacterium that causes Lyme disease. Also, humans have a scientific name of Homo sapiens. So let's look at taxa. A taxon is a classification or a level of classification for living things, and there are several of them. Starting with most inclusive, we have kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Actually, there is a taxon that is more inclusive than kingdom, but it has only been recently determined. So this is something that is only newly being taught in biology courses. So there are now three domains in which all kingdoms and other taxa fall into. There are the archaea and the eubacteria, which are both prokaryotic. And then there is the eukaryota, or the eukarya, depending on the source you look at, which include all of the eukaryotic organisms. So to help you understand how this works, we're going to go through the classification of the domestic cat, because this is something that most people are at least familiar with what they look like. So cats are in the domain eukarya because they're eukaryotes. They're in the animal kingdom. They're heterotrophic. They're in the phylum chordata. They have backbones. They're in the mammalia class because they have milk and hair. They're in the order carnivora because they are meat-eating. They're in the family felidae because most of them have retractable claws. All cats are hypercarnivores, meaning that they have to eat animal flesh to survive. They're in the genus Felis, which includes the smaller cat breeds, or cat species, I'm sorry. And they're in the species Catus, which is the name that we give to the domestic cat. So the scientific name for the domestic cat is Felis Catus. So the eukaryote kingdoms include Animalia, which are the animals, Plantae, which are the plants, Monera, which are the fungi, and Protista, which are all unicellular, but some are like animals and some are like plants. And finally, we'll talk about the animal phyla. There are many of these, and you need to make sure that you can identify the, some of the animals that go into the phyla and their characteristics. So, periphera includes the sponges, Nidaria includes jellies and anemones. Platyhelminthes is flatworms. Nematoda are roundworms. Mollusca are the clams, snails, and squid, and octopods. Anelida are earthworms. Arthropoda are the crabs, insects, spiders, etc. Echinodermata are starfish and sea urchins and their relatives. And finally, the chordata are the fish, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and these are the animals with backbones. So once again, make sure you understand the sequence of the taxa, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species, and go back through this mini lecture if you need a refresher later before you take the test on the different animal phyla and the classification of the cat as an example that can help you remember the order of the taxa.